Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Roberto. Evening. Hello, Carmen. Hello, teacher. How are I'm you? Sorry. I'm fine, thank you. And you? How are you? Very good, very good. Feeling good. Had a nice day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. Can't complain. God is good. Hi, good evening. Hey, yeah. good evening. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine. Okay, guys, let's just <laughs> wait a couple of minutes. We're just going to wait a couple of minutes for the other people to, to join us. Okay. This is P3. Hey, congratulations to the people that already finished everything on the platform. Thank you. <laughs> uh, guys, I just want to ask you a question. Uh, ¿Quién estaba en la clase ayer cuando iniciamos? ¿Quién estaba a la hora de inicio ayer? Yo no. No Yo. Pude, tuve problemas. Ajá, no, pero ¿quién estuvo al, al, al inicio de la clase? Yo. Rosa, ¿a qué horas empezamos ayer? Mm. Creo como las 7.59 o 7.58, como las 8. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, um, what I would like for us to do is I would like for us to review uh, a little bit about what we were looking at in yesterday's class. Um, más o menos, ¿qué se acuerdan de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer? I looked the class video and I remember that we were talking about the simple past verb mm -hmm. verbs and mm -hmm. we the talked songs. about mm -hmm. we talk about mm -hmm. the, with the, the, songs, the verbs right? ending in e in letter e and and I don't remember the others. <laughs> okay, all right, that's good. That's good. Um, how many pronunciations exist in the simple past according to yesterday that you remember? Three. Three. Three pronunciations. Three. Three pronunciations. Three okay. Pronunciations. What are the pronunciations? With T. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We D D D uh huh I V I D I D I D, I -D. I -D. correct right and how do you identify um what pronunciation uh, you are going to make how Okay, Jose David, uh, I'm going to ask you to please put your microphone on silence because we can hear uh, interference. Thank you. Um, how do you know when the pronunciation of the verb is it t, or d? How do you know? Oh, teacher, <laughs> in the in the verb. Yeah. Okay, Roberto. Uh huh. Okay. When a verb finish in T or D, we are going to uh, pronunciate I V. Pronounce. Pronounce. Mm -hmm. I V. Wanted. Mm -hmm. Wanted. Wanted. Mm -hmm. Want. Wanted. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, when the verb uh, ending in on voices mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. 
we are going to pron pronounce um, T. 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 That's right. Mm. Look, 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 walk, walk, talk, talk, unvoiced. And when the verb uh, end in a uh, voices sound, mm -hmm. we are going to pronu pronounce um, V, the sound V. Da, da, da. Learned, learned, burned. It's a D, D sound. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue, Roberto. It's all teacher. That's it. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, regarding this topic? Nobody? No teacher, thanks. Okay, excellent. Now, for this activity, um, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. Uh, first, I want to congratulate the students that I already finished everything. Good job, awesome, that's what I like, that's what I want. Um, if you are not finished with the platform, that's okay. We still have a little bit of time. Um, if you are working with a partner that already finished the platform, uh, I would like for you to please help your classmate, um, right? For example, uh, Carmen Lobos, if you are working with Jimmy Torres, for example, and yes. Jimmy says, no, I am not finished. And Carmen says, oh, I am finished. It's okay for Carmen to help Jimmy. And vice versa, Jimmy can help Carmen. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. That's for everybody, guys, for everybody. Now, for this activity, I would like for us to look at the simple past yes, no questions. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes and no questions. Additionally, you will practice. Uh, you will answer simple past questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta si sí, no en pasado simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, let's go ahead. I would like for you to please take notes. Quiero que saquen su libreta para que tomen apuntes. Si escucha una frase, una palabra, una estructura, lo que sea. Y después le voy a ayudar. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. 
Now, what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to practice the conversation. Everybody, please repeat after me. So, did you go anywhere last summer? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the Grand Canyon. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? 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 Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. We loved it. We, we loved, loved it. it. Did you go hiking there? Did you, Did you go hiking go there? Hiking? No, we didn't. No, no we, didn't. we didn't. Actually, we rode Actually. horses. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting. And we also went white water rafting. On the Colorado River. On the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Wow, wow. Did you have fun? You have fun? Yes, wow. we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We, did. we, did. we had a great time. time. We had a great time. time. Have a great time. Okay. Does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Hi, hiking. 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 Did you go hiking? Hiking is like when you go to the mountains and you are hiking up the mountain. Okay. Escalar. That's Escalar. right. Escalar. Escalar. Okay. That's right. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another question? Rafting. Rafting. This, this is a raft. So the sport is called white water. Agua blanca, okay. porque lo hacen en ríos. <coughs> Rafting. Esta es una raft. Es un bote de aire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So por eso se llama white water, agua blanca, rafting. Por ejemplo, en el Colorado River, eh, se ve mucho eso. Gente se muere haciendo este deporte. But they love it. It's very dangerous. It's an extreme sport. Allí no hay botón que diga apaga el chorro o para el, el, las olas. Mm -mm. It's you and nature. That's it. Another question? Um, went. 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 Fuiste. Went. And we also went y también fuimos white water rafting. Went is the simple past of go. Teacher, we saw is vimos. I'm sorry, repeat. We saw sería vimos. We saw, that's right. We saw, vimos. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Hi. Where is the Grand Canyon? Uh, the Grand Canyon is in Colorado. Ah, no, Arizona. Arizona, uh huh. It's uh, next to you have California. Under California, you have New Mexico. Next to New Mexico, you have Arizona, and then you have Texas. Really, uh, what is the Grand Canyon? Uh, the Grand Canyon is like a big um it's some um, like a big land like a desert in, in arizona but in color red yes uh well 
Colorado, Someplace. Colorado, Colorado. Yeah, the Colorado River is uh, in Arizona. Thanks. Ari Arizona is the state. All right, we're going to practice this conversation five times. I want you to practice the conversation five times in pairs. Any questions? No questions. No. It's okay. All right. Are you ready? Why am I not ready? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. It is here. Uh, this one is. Give me one second. Pueden mandar la imagen al grupo. Yes. This one is section number 4.11. 4.11. Ok, chance. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Alguien mandó la imagen al grupo o todavía no? No. Nope. No? Okay. I am going to send the, the screenshot. Oh, okay. Send the screenshot. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Quién dijo eso? ¿Quién va a mandar el screenshot? ¿Quién dijo que iba a mandar el screenshot? Ya se mandó. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Ahí está. Arranzamendi. ¿Quién es Arranzamendi? You, Paola. Oh, thank you, Paola. Thank you. All right. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Are you yes, ready? ready. Yes. Is, is everybody ready? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. We are ready. All right. Does anybody have any questions? No, teacher. No, no, no question. All right. Ready? Let's go. So, mm -hmm. Miledis Barahona and Silvia Michel. Miledis Barahona. The Grand Canyon. Huh? Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we love it. It. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse, and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Uh, we can change this moment. I am Erica, you are Laura. Okay. <laughs> so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode cars and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? 
Yes, we did. We had a great time. Okay. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister uh, and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Can Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Hello, Gabriela? Hello, Gabriela? Hola. Es... No, 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 pareo. <laughs> ¿No tiene a nadie con quien practicar? No. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver si puede trabajar con Silvia Michelle. Ok. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. Entonces, ok. Permiso. Que tomé captura. Eh, yo soy Laura y tú, Erika. Okay, okay. Okay. So, that so did you go anywhere last last summer? Un dame un segundito, un segundito, un segundito. Uh, yes, I did. My sister and went to Arizona. Uh, we say the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went wide water training on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. Thank you. Ahora eh, cambiamos si quieren los papeles. ¿Gusta? Ok. Ok. Entonces yo soy Laura. Uh, so, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Are you finished? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Finished. Okay. Yes, practice by either. Wow. Do you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two, but okay, Karen Mulato and Rosa Esmeralda. Karen, you are going to be Laura, and uh, Rosa is going to be Erica. Action. Okay. So, did you any hear last summer? Yes, I be my sister and I went to Arizona with the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you hink in there? No, we didn't. Actually, we we rode also and then we also went with it water rifling on the Colorado River. White. Pronunciation is white, no wheat. White. 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 White water 
driving on the Colorado River. Wow, well, do you have fun? Yes, we be we have a garage site. Okay. Applause for the participants. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Now let me have uh, Luis Mon Luis Monson and Paola Aranzame. Uh, Luis, you are going to be Laura and uh, Paola Aranzame is going to be Erika. Okay. So, okay. so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Really, really, really. Really? Did rally, you like it? rally, no, really. Like. Oh, yes, we love it. Did you, did you go hiking or hiking? Hiking. Hiking. Ajá, con, se escribe con I, pero se pronuncia con A. Hiking. Hiking. Did you go? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Awesome. Very good. Excellent work, uh, Paola. And excellent work, uh, Saul. Uh, guys, I know that everybody wants to participate and practice, uh, but we have to continue. So we're going to continue looking at the video. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes, no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively. Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? 
First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. Okay, now for this activity, you are going to give me at least five examples. Uh, we're going to go to the discussion forum where it says añade, where it says titulo, you're going to write simple past, simple past questions. For example, number one, did you go to the beach on your last vacation? You respond, yes, I did, or no, I didn't for the negative. All right, um, another question. Uh, did, did you eat seafood on your last vacation? Comiste mariscos? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Okay, you're going to give me five examples with questions in the simple past. Then you are going to click enviar. And we will be able to look at the questions. Do you understand the activity? Yes, I understand. Does anybody have any questions about this activity? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Robert? With the verb in the third person, the verb in past tense, mm -hmm. don't need S. Uh, no, does not need an S. Uh, for example, if I ask you, did your mom go to the beach, right? If I'm talking about third person, for example, I can say, um, did your mom, uh, did your mom wear sunglasses on her last vacation? And you respond, yes, she did, or no, she didn't. And then actualizar. Any questions? Any questions? Somebody have a question? Not teacher. Okay, let's continue. Work in pairs, please. 
If you have any questions, raise your hand. Uh, let's go, let's go, Saul, uh, let's go, Gabriela, let's go, Gabriela, hello, 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 Gabriela, usted está con Sylvia Michelle. Eh, pueden trabajar individual o en pareja, como ustedes gusten. Ok, teacher, no había visto. Ok, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Hello, Gabriela, how are you? Hola. Vamos a hacer oraciones. Según lo que entendí, eh, con el auxiliar D y con negaciones, ¿verdad? Respuestas cortas. ¿Alguna idea de una pregunta que tenga por ahí? ¿Con negación o usando el D? D, ajá. Eh, una pregunta con el D. I didn't. Hay que ver. Una pregunta. Uh -huh. Primero va el DIN, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá. DIN. Eh, DIN. Play soccer. Play soccer, perdón. DIN. Play soccer. Did you play soccer uh, yesterday? No, no, no. Yes. O oh, 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 last weekend. Ok. Where did you. Did you. algo Mm -hmm. No sé si, si se escucharía bien como Did you eat pizza in your O oh, oh, um, In the night O in the last weekend Did you ¿Cómo? No El teacher puso un ejemplo que puso Did you eat seafood On your last vacation Entonces podríamos poner Did you eat Um, alguna comida, bueno, es que pizza es muy común. Hamburger. Oh, oh hamburger. Eh, um, your last vacation. <ríe> vale, que supongamos. <ríe> ok. Did you. Did you. Eat.
Um, is everybody finished or do you need more time? I think so. Okay, everybody's finished? Guys? Is everybody finished? Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. So everybody's finished. Okay. Let me have uh, Roberto. Uh, let me hear your examples. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Did you like to? Did you like the Colorado River? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, did Erica and Julia go to Colorado? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Did she eat, did she eat pasta at lunch? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Uh, did Carlos read a book on the last vacation? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did you have a sore throat the last weekend? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Perfect. Perfect. Another volunteer? Luis. Go ahead, Luis. Did you go to the gym? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you play soccer? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you dance with your girlfriend? No, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Did you watch TV on Sunday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did she work today? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Perfect. Okay. Um, if you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. If you finished, that's okay. We will continue. Now, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Teacher, um, I didn't. ¿Dónde tiene la comilla? I'm sorry. Repeat. La cuando la respuesta es negativa se dice I. No, I didn't. didn't. Correct. ¿Dónde lleva, dónde lleva la, una comilla? El apóstrofe. ¿Apóstrofe? ¿Dónde la lleva? Eh, no. I. Después de la N. Didn't. Ok, ok, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok. Now, for the next activity we're going to look at is section 4.12, Knowledge Check. On Scrabble, the questions, instructions. On Scrabble, the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Example, have you did summer a uh, good? So this is mixed up. So the question is, did you have a good summer. Any questions? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes, let's teacher. work in pairs and then we will check. Ready, let's go. Uh, hello, Paola. Hello, Milady. Hello, Aide. How are you? Hmm. 
Hello, hello, I there, my ladies. Hello, my ladies, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, my ladies, Barahona. Hi. Vamos a trabajar en la plataforma, lo que estuve explicando él. Sí. Mm -hmm. Este, yo eso ya lo contesté, lo que pasa que estoy viendo de qué forma me... Ah, ahorita. Mm -hmm. En la 4.12, Orga. Sí. Eh, a mí eso me dio problema porque ayer me dormí como a las once y media por estar viendo eso. Y... Sí. Mire que yo no pasé le... <ríe> Ajá. Yo le eh, pasé varias veces enviándolo y hasta que eh... Eh, creo, no sé cuando le damos doble clic como que no lo acepta, porque Did You Watch Television es una de las últimas que me dijo que no, era a las once y media de la noche y yo estaba, no, tengo que hacer eso, tengo que hacer hasta ¿Cuál que... ¿Cuál es el, cuál es el, el que vamos a ver? El 4.12. Uh, ¿4.12? Ajá. Permítame. Pero sí me dio problemas ayer, pero lo terminé <ríe> haciendo. Ah, ya la hizo. Um, sí, ya, ajá. Solo lo único que acá, eh, unos están como en negativo, ¿verdad? Y otros están... Ya lo digo, no, no. Vaya, por ejemplo, la pregunta donde dice, Watch Television, did you like... La tercera eh, sería... Did you, no sé si es, did you work to go o did you go to work? Did yes. you go to work? La última, ¿cómo le quedó? Porque no está you did go to the movies, no. Did they go to the movies? Did you? Did they, no, did you, you no está. Did they oh, go to the, the movies? Did they go to the movie? Oh, when does? When is it? Así es. No, no, así. Did you watch? Teacher, help me. Yes. En the number one, uh -huh. ¿cómo quedaría? Yo ya la hice, pero y la mandé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está mal. Está mal. Yo le puse, did you watch television last night? Eh, tal vez no escribió el símbolo de pregunta al final. Porque no. así está correcto. Did you watch television last night? Eso sí. es correcto. Mm, no sé cómo sacarlo en esta computadora. Combinaciones, hay letras. Ayúdenme. No, no sé. Eh, ¿Lo podemos pegar y copiar en el grupo del WhatsApp? Aquí en Google lo vamos a pegar, lo vamos a copiar. Ok. <ríe> Quiero ver si es. No sé si es 2000 ni 200. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2
Were you? And the chair. Este, creo que un espacio era que quizás. Ah, oh, ok. Oh, el signo se lo puso. Sí, sí, ya, hoy sí es. Okay. Hoy sí es el espacio, creo que era. <laughs> ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Solo eso le faltaba. Let me see. Déjame ver. Yes. Okay. Let's check. Let's look at. The first one, number two. The first one says, number one, one volunteer, number one. Yes. One volunteer, number one. Did, did you watch television last night? Do you or did you? Do you or did you? Mm. Did, you. did you did you simple pass very good the next one number two did carmen you did you mm -hmm. have diner last night diner or dinner 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 last dinner. night dinner. very good dinner the next one eh, jose david Okay. Did you work? Did you go to the work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did you go to work, work or did you yes. go to work? Let me say, let me see. Did you go, did you go to work yesterday? Excellent. And Herson. Carmen, did okay, they, Carmen, the next one. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday is correct. Excellent. Very good. Any questions referring to this activity? Any questions? No. No, teacher. Okay, awesome. Let's look at the next one. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para discutir las actividades en verano. Word power, summer activities. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat, please. A class. A class. A class. A class. Fun. 
Fun. Hiking. Hiking. A movie. A movie. New people. New people. Old friends. Old friends. A picnic. A picnic. Pictures. Pictures. A play. A play. Swimming. Swimming. Tennis. Tennis. Volleyball. Volleyball. Any questions referring to this vocabulary? What is picnic? Picnic es como cuando vas al parque, llevas comida, un picnic, llevas una sábana, la echas la sábana en la, en la grama. Eh, hiking. Hiking es como escalar en una montaña cuando vas escalando. Ok. Another question? No, the case, okay. Okay, now for the following activity, we're going to, we have five more minutes. You're going to look at this. For example, you say, go hiking, go swimming. So this is what we call collocations. Thank you. Give me just a second. Teacher. Okay, right, so you're gonna go, yeah, you're gonna go down here. For example, go hiking, go swimming. You're gonna go here where it says, añade una publicación. Here, you're gonna put Word power, summer activities. <laughs> Word power, what? summer what? activities. And then here, you're going to write the combinations. For example, number one says go hiking, go swimming. Write go hiking. Go swimming, right? Number two. Number, number two is have. So you say for example, have, have, a class. have a picnic. So you say have a class, have a picnic. Any questions? When you finish, you're going to put NVR. Okay. All right. Any questions at this moment referring to this activity? Teacher, I have a question. Uh, escuché, teacher, I have a question. Y escuché yes. Something else. Yes, okay. I... Hi, uh... miladies. Yes, uh, swimming es nadando o nadar. Pues, el, ambos. Por ejemplo, si tú dices me gusta nadar, tú dices I like, I like swimming. Uh, I, y si digo I like go to swimming. Pero, I correcto. like swimming. I go to swimming. Like, espérame, to go swimming así sería i like to go swimming ah la tenía inverso uh -huh. sería correcto correcto okay uh -huh. thank An you thank you another question another question another question no okay Please work in pairs.
Haide. Nelly. Hello. Hello, teacher. Are you working in pairs? Yes, con Haide. Oh, okay. Hello, Haide. Aide se fue. Sí. Okay, guys, it is time to go. We have run out of time. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is all for today. Please uh, continue working on the platform. Uh, remember that tomorrow is Thursday. So we have to complete section four and start section five. All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.